Greetings everyone, this is Dandy from hardtravel.com, your luxury all-inclusive experts, and today I'm at the beautiful beaches Negril Resort and Spa. You're gonna be blown away by its incredible beach set right on Seven Mile Beach here in Jamaica. The beautiful turquoise waters, the white sand that you would expect. They've got fantastic pools, all the restaurants, the room categories, you can see those on our other videos as well. But what this is all about is it is a family resort. They do an amazing job with their partnership with Sesame Street. The kids are gonna have a great time. You have all kinds of activities that are included from water activities to land throughout the day. You're gonna love it. Let me show you the resort. Behind me, you're gonna see the largest pool here on the resort. This is the main pool. You've got a waterfall feature over there in the corner and the kids always love to sit underneath that. It's a really wide, expansive pool. So this is just one small part of it. Behind me, you've got a sun deck if you wanna get a little lounge time in. You've also got those umbrellas up there as well. I like that they have the bridge right here. Of course, the kids love swimming underneath it. But having a pool this big, you can spread out, move around. And this is also where you're gonna find a lot of the activities. Now, before we head further, I just wanted to point out, you've got the lifeguard stand there. During the middle of the day, they do have lifeguards on duty. But of course, if you are the ones with your kids, they also bring the kids here sometimes from the kids club. But if you're here with the kids, always keep an eye out. Of course, as a parent, you're gonna do that. Now, I just wanted to show you a little bit more of the pool. In the background, you've got the mill restaurant. That's the buffet, just for point of reference. And as we turn the corner here, you can see that it's also a major activities pool. So they've got water volleyball set up. They'll have different kinds of activities throughout the day. But this is where you can really get that scope of how huge the pool is all the way over in that direction and wrapping around here as well. You've got the stairs a couple different places, but every all-inclusive needs a great swim-up bar. You can see the swim-up bar over there underneath the palapa, but like anything here on the resort, it's the people that make all the difference. The bartenders are gonna have a great time with both the kids and the adults there. Make some really fantastic mocktails. I know my daughter likes, well, a strawberry daiquiri with, well, no rum, but I'll save the rum for me. Now around the pool, you also have more seating. You can see the different lounge chairs back there. They've got quite a few more, even some tucked over in the corner looking out at the ocean. And then one of the family favorites, of course, is the jacuzzi hot tub. It's a really large one and it's just set up there. And all the way wrapped around that, you're gonna have loungers as well. Like all the spaces here on the resort, there's something for every single member of the family. And then of course, if you wanna alternate back and forth, you're just a few steps right down to the beach. And then around the corner, you're gonna find that water park. Now on the far side of the pool, set up above, they also have this great lounge area. Of course, you can walk down and take advantage of the other side of the swim up bar where you can walk up and grab a drink. This is also that perfect place to sit, relax and wait before you're heading into one of the buffet meals, breakfast, lunch or dinner. Now, one of the main reasons why people love this particular resort is this incredible beach here in Negril. We're set right on Seven Mile Beach, ranked one of the top beaches in the world very, very consistently. You can see why you have that crystal blue water right behind me, several different shades of teal and blue. You've got a shallow entrance, so you can walk out quite a bit. It's perfect for the family. That's why they put this resort right here. But this resort is huge from a space-wise. It's very expansive, it's very open, and it's rare that you see this amount of beach that carries all the way up into the resort as well. Now, if you love that warm water, you wanna dip your toes in the sand, once again, you can see why I love it so much. Now, what I like about the way Beaches utilizes the beach is, of course, you're gonna have all the palapas, you also have umbrellas, different lounge chairs, and of course, your butler can come down and set those up. But you also have cabanas if you wanna purchase those. You can upgrade your experience, and you can imagine having a private one for the day for you and your family. What an awesome experience. And in the evening, this whole space converts over to where they're gonna have the beach party and different activities. It's such a nice, romantic, relaxing place to be. And as we walk a little bit further down the beach, you're gonna have your water sports on the far side. So whatever it is that you love to do on the beach, this is that perfect beach for it. Now, all throughout the resort, you're gonna find even more activity spaces. Of course, you've got one of those favorites, beach volleyball, and who wouldn't love to play here looking out at that incredible view from Seven Mile Beach. Now, this is a multi-use space. You can see here, it's quite expansive. They'll set up activities like cornhole. Of course, you can check out all kinds of things from the activities hut, whether you wanna grab a soccer ball or a Frisbee, but this is also an entertainment zone. So you can see you've got the stage here behind me. You might see some of your favorite Sesame Street friends, especially when they do the big beach party. But what they do is they make the entire space interactive. So it's not one where you just sit right here for the stage. Of course, they have the big top as well for that entertainment, but this is just a really fantastic space. It's all the sand, it's on the beach. And once again, I can't take my eyes away from that incredible view. 
Now the little family touches make all the difference. Maybe you're playing some beach volleyball down there, playing in the sand, you wanna head up and have some activities in the pool. I like that right here, you've got this little step through. So instead of having a shower where you hose off your feet, and you know how well the kids always do with that, you can step right in there, clean your feet off, and head right up into the pool. Now, one of the reasons families love this particular resort more than so many other here in Jamaica is the incredible Pirates Island Water Park. Now, those of you familiar with the Beaches brands, this one's not quite as big as the one that they have in Turks and Caicos, but of course, the resort has about a quarter of the rooms. Now, they have something for everyone. They're gonna have the larger slides for the bigger kids and, well, the adults who love water slides as well. There's two of those. And then over here, you're gonna see the fantastic Pirates Island Water Park. Of course, set all the way around it, you're gonna have a lazy river. They've got the inner tubes down there for you so that you can float all the way around, either singles or doubles. And then behind me, you're gonna see the splash pad. So like I said, every age group is taken care of. In the far corner, they even have like a tiny lazy river for the smallest of kiddos. And then right here, you've got the splash pad they can run through over and over again. And then for the, the smaller and midsize, you also have this great part of the water park as well. So you've got a little slide there, the red one, a tinier slide, the purple one. And then one of the all time favorites is always gonna be the giant splash bucket up above. So you can stand on the far side or anywhere on the structure. And if you're ready to cool off, just sit back and enjoy it. Now I mentioned the larger water slides. These are a lot of fun. They have one that's a little bit faster. You can see the tube slide there. And they have the other one that's well, a little bit milder, but it's still an absolute blast. And a really cool feature about this particular one is you've got this pool here behind me. So of course they can come on out. You can walk right up the steps and do it over and over and over and over again, as I know my daughter and her cousins will. But what I also love is right behind me, tucked around the corner, you can actually head right into the lazy river, continuing the chill and maybe mix up your day. Now something that makes this water park so incredibly unique is it's set right down here on the beach. They usually don't use that kind of real estate for something like this. So the beach is also part of the water park as well. So you can head back and forth. Maybe you have one of the butler cabanas or the reserved ones. You can set that up for the day. The kids can utilize this, go back and forth. And then it's also set right next to the piazza pool. So you can utilize the three dining options that they have there throughout the day as well. Casual eateries, nice, tasty, and quick. So as we head out of Pirates Islands Water Park, I thought I'd stop by and see my friend. Well, he loves all the Sesame Street characters as well, but the only problem is every single time we do letter of the day, he'll only go with R. Another great option is the Piazza Pool here. You can see, of course, they have that swim up bar and the walk up bar. You could try a Mai Tai, Bahama Mama, or a Yellow Bird. Wait, is that named after? Well, maybe it's named after my friend Big Bird, who knows? Whatever it is, I know you're gonna enjoy it. Once again, great for the adults. And the pool itself is fantastic for the kids as well. I like that it's set right here in the middle so you can utilize the pool, the water park, or the beach. Just steps from the pool, you're gonna find three casual eating options. You got mariachi just here behind me. It's Mexican for lunch, Tex-Mex for dinner. Around the corner, you're gonna have barbecue park. And then just around the corner, you're gonna find frozen yogurt. Now let's start off here with mariachi. So at lunch, it's gonna be tacos, burritos, they've got a buffet, also some great kids options as well. And then at dinner, it turns into more of a sit-down Tex-Mex option. Of course, Taylor's favorite is the cowboy steak, but they have all kinds of different options, fajitas and some great appetizers and tacos as well. So if you're looking for some Southwestern cuisine, I definitely recommend you check it out. This great poolside option is the barbecue park. Now this is open from late in the morning until very, very early in the morning, usually around 3 a.m. or so. You're gonna find a classic pulled pork, but what I love here, of course you can get the jerk chicken, those fantastic Jamaican patties. You can also get burgers and hot dogs and some Memphis style chicken as well. But you got this nice outdoor seating area, or of course you can grab it and go to anywhere in the resort. Now a family favorite here on site is Yo-Yo's Fro-Yo. Taylor, doesn't that sound a lot like your favorite YouTube channel, Frono's Photos? I don't know, they're pretty awesome. They do some great reviews on cameras for sure. But let's take you inside. I know at home, frozen yogurt is one of my family's favorite options. We often find ourselves stopping by on the way to or from anywhere. What? Hey, I dip, you dip, we dip, we all dip. They've got eight different options in here for you to choose from. They do rotate them. I mean, you can't go wrong with birthday cake, chocolate chip cookie dough, come on. But in addition to that, they're also gonna have some non-dairy options for those who need that. And you have a ton of different toppings. Once again, all part of your all-inclusive package. You got candies, chocolate, ooh, Fruit Loops. Looks absolutely delicious. Got some whipped cream and cherries. And even in the corner, they've got caramel and hot fudge. Hmm, that looks good. Hmm. 
Now I wanted to take you back down on the beach because it is such an incredible stretch. I love that you can walk a far distance in both sides. You can get a little better angle of that here. But we're set right in front of the Pirates Island water park. You have more of the loungers. They also have these really nice day beds where you can kind of have the shade or push it back if you like. You've got more of the palapas, either those complimentary ones if you're staying in the butler suites. They also have ones to purchase as well. And I know with a family, that's such a great touch. So you have the restaurants, you have the bars. Of course, they're gonna have bar service all throughout this beautiful beach. But I know when I stay here, I could stay down here forever. Look at the water, it's insane, it's beautiful, it's clear. Wow, this is an amazing beach here. Seven mile beach in Jamaica. Now all throughout the resort, you might find some great Instagram spots. This may be that perfect one, or you might just find me here during the day, the night. Ugh, I don't wanna ever leave this beach. Now, one of the reasons beaches is such a great fit for so many families is when they say all-inclusive, it truly is. They have a ton of included water sports. You can see some of them behind me, and of course, you can see why you wanna go out in this incredible water. You've got the kayaks, you've got a couple types of stand-up paddle boards. You're also gonna have those trikes, a little bit of exercise if you wanna fit that in. You see the glass bottom boat out there and snorkeling, that's a complimentary feature as well. You're gonna have the Hobie Cats, the sailboats, you have all kinds of different included experiences. Now keep in mind, they also include scuba. Now if you wanna get certified, that's a little bit of an extra cost, but if you're already ready for that, you can come on down and get going right away. But this is such a unique feature because not many resorts include it. Usually you have a little lower price and then they nickel and dime you every single time. But what Beaches and Sandals believes in is including just about everything that your family's gonna love. Now they also include one of my favorite things. In fact, I learned how to water ski at an all-inclusive, but they do water skiing and wakeboarding as well. They provide the boat, they provide the equipment, and of course they have life jackets for the kids and adults of all different sizes. Now there are a few upgrade options if you wanna do snuba, night dives, things like that. But it's so incredibly awesome that they include all of that. So if that's what your kid loves, that's what your family loves, you're gonna enjoy your time here at Beaches Negril and this incredible seven mile beach. Now I mentioned the scuba inclusions down on the beach, but what I wanted to talk about is why people choose this specific resort. Of course, this is family friendly. They have something for all of the different age groups. Even the kids that aren't quite old enough to get PADI certified, they have some really cool programs for them. But I wanted to point out the dive sites. Now these are all included and complimentary. You can see as they wrap all the way around, we're right here and you can take advantage of so many different options. You can go out multiple times while you're here and experience several different reefs and all of the fantastic things that Jamaica has to offer, and it's right at your doorstep. Now, for members of the family that might need some extra accessibility accommodations, I love that they have these so you can go down and access that beautiful beach. And of course, they do have accessible rooms on site as well. All right, there's all kinds of fun you can do here on the resort, all the different kinds of activities as well. You can even play, oh wait, that's not what this is for. This is croquet. One of those classic games here in Jamaica, you're gonna find it at all of the beaches and sandals resorts. Just another fun thing to do with the family. Sit down on the beach, you have a couple more classics. Of course, shuffleboard, they also have chess over there. I like that they put some really nice seating areas here as well. Let's see. You know what they say, the best offense is a good defense. Checkmate. As you can imagine, with a beautiful beach and the incredible grounds here on site, this is a very, very popular resort to get married at. And they kind of have the best of both worlds. Now, we have a demonstration set up for us right now. Just behind, you'll see one of the wedding gazebos. And what's so popular about this is that you're right on the beach. The beach is just beyond, but of course, you're not actually in the sand. Now, if you dream of a wedding with your toes in the sand, you've got the wedding bridge, and they'll set it up right on the beach for you. And with Seven Mile Beach being such an ideal location for sunset, of course, if that's your dream as well, that's something that they can accommodate. So they've set up a few different examples here now. You've got some of the different chairs and you can see the gazebo. They've also set up a few samples of the different items that you can utilize as well. But keep in mind, the wedding is yours. It's your dream wedding. You're gonna customize it from scratch. We're actually gonna put you in touch with the wedding personalizers as soon as you reach out to us. We're gonna handle all of the travel arrangements for you and of course your wedding party and guests as well. So you don't have to worry about any of that. And then they have been doing this for so long here and they're so good at it that they're gonna know exactly what it is that you're looking for. 
Now, sandals and beaches have some of the best inclusions in the entire industries. In fact, they have complimentary weddings starting at you just staying here three nights. And of course, you can expand from there to exactly what you want. Here's a few of the examples that I was talking about, but you're not in any way limited to this, but you can probably find just about any combination that you're looking for. Now, all throughout the grounds, there's different spots where you can have your dream wedding. You just let us know and let them know, and they're gonna propose different options to you. And another fantastic combination here at this particular resort is Sandals is just down the road. And so if you have some of your group that wants to stay at an adults only resort, they can come back over here. And another popular option is maybe to get married here and then head over there for your honeymoon. But either place, you're gonna enjoy the incredible seven mile beach right behind me, that crystal clear water. This is a perfect dream wedding for so many people. Now, one of the classic spots here on the resort, because it's so popular for weddings, is this wedding bridge. So you can imagine after you get married, or of course, if you get married down on the beach, you head right on over and down into that incredible water. Mind blowing. Just off the beach and between the main pool, you're gonna find Dino's. This is one of those classic beaches options. It's a pizzeria, everybody loves pizza. They've got a wide variety of options in there. They also have some calzones, which is Taylor's favorite, of course. Out here, you've got some seating areas. You'll notice that there's not a ton of seating all the way around here. That's because a lot of people will grab and go, maybe head back down to your beach lounger or out around the pool or even back to the room. Just behind me, you'll see one of those classics for beaches restaurants, it's Stew Fish. So this is set right here on the beach. What it is is that beachfront restaurant. If you wanna dine with your toes in the sand, you can absolutely do that here. What I love about this particular one is in the morning, it's gonna be a la carte breakfast. So you can have different kinds of juices and then all of your favorite breakfast items. And then later on in the evening, it becomes a Caribbean seafood restaurant. So I like that they double down on that, but what better place to enjoy a meal than looking out at that incredible beach. It's super casual as you would expect and one of those family favorites. Now another fantastic feature here is the beach bar. So it's part of Stew Fish as well, but the beach bar is gonna be open from mid morning until later into the evening. And then it even carries on later as it goes with the restaurant as well. But you have some beautiful seating out there. You've got some couches, some different kinds of loungers and also bar seats as well. But I know that that bartender has the best view in the business and I'm gonna be spending some time there in just a few minutes. Here at Beaches, they have an incredible partnership with Sesame Street. You're gonna find all the characters behind me. Of course, they have dedicated spaces to each individual age group. And then as the kids get older, they take advantage of all the wonderful spaces around the resort as well. So right here, you've got the littlest ones, then you've got the next age up, and then finally the eight to 10 year olds as well. Now, what I love so much here, I was a classroom educator for over a decade, and I love that they go out of their way to make sure that every single family's needs are met. So you're gonna have all different age groups, as I mentioned. It is a certified autism center, so they specialize really with kids on the spectrum. They do an amazing job with that. I love that they even include Julia, who's living with autism herself. And then of course, all the other characters come together and it's such a fantastic experience. Now I've been doing travel for a really long time. And as I mentioned, my background is in education. And what I know is when every single member of the family's needs are met, everybody's going to have a great time. And it takes a lot of the pressure off mom and dad and the kids themselves as well, that they have a place to go, they have a place that they're accepted, and they know that they're gonna have a great time. We've actually talked to families throughout the resort and my customers who've been here as well, and they love so much that their kids come back time and time again to this beaches and the others as well. Now, all of this is included with your all-inclusive package. They do have some other things if you need them as well. You see they've got strollers back behind me, so if you wanna rent them, maybe you don't wanna bring it, though I know going through the airport, it makes it life a lot easier. But whatever it is that you need, they're probably gonna have it here for you. Now let's explore some of the other spaces. So now we're just inside the portion of the space that's dedicated to the littlest of guests here, from zero up to two years old. You've got your check-in right there, and then of course, the safety rail just behind me. And as we enter, you can see some of the things that they do with the little ones. Of course, for the infants, they're gonna do all of the different things that you would expect. They change diapers, they do feed them. That's something unique that you're not gonna find at every resort or cruise ship. And in here, they have all kinds of different toys. They're all age appropriate. And with their partnership with Sesame Street, you get that educational piece in addition to the fun. So you can see the little toys behind me. My good buddy Cookie Monster's always there as well. They do the letter of the day and the different concepts there. And then you have all of the books over here for story time. Now, in addition to this, they're gonna take them outside as well. They've got the pool area so they can move them around. I know some kids do better moving around in the strollers. So they'll do that, of course. You can see some of the strollers over here, the high chairs for feeding, 
the diaper changing station just in the distance. They've got the bottle warmers just around the corner and microwave for that. And in addition, just behind this glass here, you're gonna have the nap area. So they will put them down to nap. And what is absolutely amazing, I've seen them put quite a few down at one time. I know I had a tough time with my one daughter. It's pretty amazing the way that they do this thing. And they love what they do. That's what makes all the difference here. They're great at what they do. They're highly certified in everything that you would need, including CPR and all the things that I had to get as an educator myself. But they're here because they love kids and your kids are gonna love them as well. Now this particular space is dedicated to the five and seven year olds. It's the pirates and mermaids area. They've got lots of different activities. They're gonna have activities throughout the day. You can see they have some arts and crafts underneath there, painting, of course, making different things. They got string and yarn, glue, scissors, all that fun stuff that you're gonna love. They've got the puppet show over to the corner. Of course, movie time is always a hit. And then you have the different setups here. Kind of looks like my house just a few years ago with my daughter and well, Looking at some of these books, I want to start singing the songs along as well. But this is an indoor space here. Of course, they take advantage of the pool area for the kids outside. They take them out into the resort as well. Now, something I wanted to mention is that they do provide nanny services in the room. Right now, currently, it's $20 per hour. And then if you do later into the evening, it's $25 per hour. But because they're so incredible with kids on the spectrum, they actually lower the price on that, especially if your kiddo needs a one-to-one. -one. They can do that as well. And they can do it in the room, take them throughout the resort as well. It's just such a wonderful touch having a young daughter myself, having some time with my wife together, and knowing that she's having a great time and with a staff that absolutely loves her. It makes all the difference. This space is the Survivor Lounge, just for the eight to 10 year old kiddos. And they have all kinds of different activities in here again. It's gonna be age appropriate. They've got the board games that are for the older kids. I love, of course, that they've got movie time and some video games. Right here, you've got this interactive table where they can play all kinds of different games as well. And then they do arts and crafts in here and also in the activity station outside. Now behind me, you can see more of the books. Once again, for the older kids, you have some more puzzles and games as well. And I love that they do the activities, including learning how to talk Jamaican, all the different kinds of words. The kids love that. And of course, they're gonna come back to the pool talking to you like a totally different kiddo. Set just behind Camp Sesame, you're gonna find the pool for the littlest kiddos. I love that they have that here. In fact, they even have their own lounge chairs. I mean, how cute is that? But what I really, really like about this is that the pool's designed just for them. You've got the waterfall feature, you've got the tiny loungers, you've got the small Adirondack chairs as well. You've got this nice gradual beach walk-in, a little bit deeper over on the other side, but perfect for the toddlers and the slightly older kids. Now, of course, there's spaces throughout the resorts for all the other kids, but they're gonna be here with the camp counselors. And once again, a really great touch. Now, I love the entire partnership that they have with Sesame Street, but one of my all-time favorite activities that they have at beaches is the night-night, sleep-tight Sesame Street tuck-in. So in addition to them bringing in some characters, and of course, your kiddos do get to keep them. I will say it is an extra fee, but I think you're gonna find out it's incredibly worth it. They're gonna come in here, read some nighttime stories to you. All right. Cookie! Cookie! Oh! Oh! How cool is that? Cookie Monster is in here, tucking me in at night. And in addition to that, you're even gonna get a story. It's usually about a 15 to 20 minute experience for your kids. Let's see what it's all about. Just one you. This is a story that's all about you and all the spectacular things that you can do. The smile on your face is like no smile I've ever seen. You're one special person, if you know what I mean. Now we wanted to showcase this specific activity, but there is so much more. And of course you can see that in the full resort tour here. You can see what's happening all around. And what I love is you might even bump into some of your favorite friends around the resort. Now we're inside the Xbox Lounge. I love that they have that partnership with Microsoft. So of course they have all kinds of different games. You wanna play some basketball, some Lego, Minecraft. Well, I love all of them. And one thing that I really appreciate about this is of course the teens are gonna enjoy it, the younger kids as well. But it's not just for the littlest of kids. Of course it's for the young and the young at heart. You might just find me in here from time to time. You never know. The space itself has all of the different bar around the whole area. You've got the chairs you can pull up. They also have these nice couches and loungers as well. So now I'm down here with some of my Macassum Pirate friends. They're absolutely a blast. And behind it, you're gonna find another area dedicated to the kids. So you've got a full jungle gym, of course the swings, my daughter's all time favorite. 
a little tiny rock climbing wall, the turtle, the swings for the slightly larger kids. And then all along here, you've got a nice jungle gym and a couple different slide options. What I love is maybe you're not ready to go out into the water park and you just want a little quick fun play. You could do that here. And then of course, who doesn't love riding an elephant? Hey look, I finally found my porpoise in life. As soon as you arrive here at Beaches, this is the main reception area. So you'll come right up the steps or the ramp right around the corner. You'll check in right here. Now keep in mind, if you're in one of those concierge or suite levels, you're gonna head right around the corner to the concierge lounge. We'll be in there in just a second. And then of course, if you are in one of those incredible butler level suites, you're gonna go right to your room to do the check in there. Now you have the bell desk right here to the right, and just through this room is the great room. It's kind of meant to be your own living room area. You can see they have beautiful furniture in here, very comfortable and relaxed, so you can sit here, maybe you're waiting for departure or when you arrive. And then of course, this is a great meeting spot, maybe if you're heading out for one of the excursions here on site from the Island Roots Tour Company. Of course, we're gonna handle all that before you go, so you don't have to worry about that, but I just wanted to show you this beautiful space. Over in the corner, they have their global gourmet desk. Now this is a really, really important feature, especially here at a family resort. If you have any special dietary needs, we're gonna let them know ahead of time, but when you get here, you're gonna meet with them right there. That way they can go over it one more time, make sure that all the restaurants understand your personalized needs because that's exactly what it is. And they can accommodate just about every kind of dietary need. Just off the lobby, you'll find the concierge lounge. So if you're staying in one of those concierge rooms or higher, this is where you're gonna complete your check-in. But it's much more than that. You're gonna utilize the services of the concierges throughout your entire stay. They can do things like make dining and spa reservations for you. They can also work on those dietary needs. But what I love about this space is it's really nice and comfortable. It's kind of like a small living room in and of itself. They're gonna greet you with a nice cocktail. And also they have spaces dedicated to the kids. As soon as the kids arrive here, they know that this is a family-friendly resort. They have things specifically for them. They got the tiny furniture over here. You can see a little bit more of that. Of course, they wanna color while you're checking in. They can do that. They also have this TV lounge over in the corner and wrapped just around the corner here is a restroom. It's even sized for the little ones. Once again, as soon as they get here, they're gonna know that this place is as much for them as for the adults. Now every all-inclusive needs a great Italian restaurant and the Venetian here delivers. Had some fantastic meal options here. You got that wide variety that you're gonna love, the lasagnas, of course, insalata caprizi, and Taylor's all-time favorite, tiramisu. But I wanted to point out this space. You're sitting above the mill restaurant, so you have views all the way out to the ocean. You got the beautiful light coming in, and in the evening, the ambience here is absolutely fantastic. Of course, like all the restaurants, they've got a great kids menu as well. But what I always say is who doesn't like Italian food? There's gonna be an option on the menu that you're gonna love. And I highly recommend that you take your time to visit here during your stay. Now, every one of their restaurants has a bar and this one has one of the more beautiful ones. So you can see a little bit of the full liquor selection that they have behind here. And in addition to that, there's a piano over in the corner to add to the incredible ambiance. Now, being that this is a family resort, they have an absolutely massive buffet restaurant. So this is a super casual eatery, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They've got a nice piano right there in the middle. But what you'll see is it is incredibly expansive. It wraps all the way around the main pool area. They've got tables for two, four, six. And of course, they can put them together if you're traveling with a larger group. But what I love about this, having a family myself, is having a really casual option like this where you can grab and go and get whatever it is that you want. It just makes it so simple and easy. There's something for everyone. You can see even the buffet op options in here are absolutely massive and expansive. So they got the different hot dishes, hot dishes over in the corner, cold dishes, and then wrapped all the way in the back, they've got a really nice rotisserie. And that's also where you're gonna get those egg dishes in the morning. Maybe you want an omelet, maybe, well, my all-time favorite, eggs on top of waffles. I know Taylor always looks weird at me like that, but all of those options are great. And if you can customize it for every member of the family, it's gonna be a fantastic option for you. Now, Beaches knows how much I love this place. They even put one of my childhood portraits up there. Now always my personal favorite is soy sushi bar. You've got a wide assortment of sushi, sashimi, nigiri, of course all the rolls. Gotta have my dragon roll, maybe one, two, three, or four. But what I like about this particular space is the absolutely beautiful setting. You've got the fountain that goes right down the middle. You've got these outdoor gazebos where you can dine. And then of course, inside the restaurant is beautiful as well. You've got the fantastic mural on the wall. And if you wanna sit at the sushi bar, that's an option. And there's an assortment of tables inside, two, four, and of course they can put them together for a family group. 
But having a great sushi option is great, and it seems to be getting more and more popular amongst families and everybody, and well, I'm gonna go on inside. One of my favorite things here at the resort is you never know who you're gonna run into, but you can always count on a really good time, huh? What's up? I haven't seen you in a while, where you been? No, Elmo did not, nah, whatever, fine. Always one of the most popular options here is kimonos. Now this is oriental cuisine, it's tepin style, so you're gonna have a variety of appetizers to choose from, and of course desserts as well. Absolutely love the pineapple roll. But what this is all about is an interactive dining experience. So you can see here they have quite a few, there's actually 10 of them, perfect for smaller groups joining up, or of course if you have a larger family group traveling together. But what I love about it is you get to combine entertainment with dining. You're gonna have beef, chicken, fish, and shrimp options that they'll prepare right there for you. Of course, vegetables as well, and my daughter's all-time favorite, fried rice. So what I know is that you're gonna have every member of the family satisfied, they're gonna have a really good time, but being so interactive, it keeps the kids engaged. As an educator, anytime that you can keep kids engaged, it's gonna be a powerful experience. Now, I'm so happy to see one of my friends here. Haven't seen you since Xi'an. Actually, I took a fantastic trip, trip to China with my dad. What I love about this place and every other resort that you're traveling together is it's family time. You're gonna create memories that last a lifetime. My dad and I laugh about that trip all the time. I love all the architecture and everything we learn, but well, anyways, it's good to see you again. Now you know where you're always gonna find Taylor in the morning and probably the afternoon as well, it's Cafe de Paris. This is the coffee shop, but it's much more than that. You're gonna get all kinds of great pastries in there. They've got different coffees with all the, the syrups and flavors that you love. Of course, you're gonna have different kinds of pastries, including donuts, absolutely love those. But you can't go wrong with a crepe. And every once in a while, I might stop by for a cookie. Cookie. Um, nom, 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 nom. So just behind me, you're gonna find one of your family's favorite spots for sure. It's the Big Top Theater. So every single day they do a special show for the Sesame Street friends, and then they also do production shows. Every single night it's gonna be a different theme. You know that the whole family's gonna be singing, dancing up on their feet. So you can see that the theater's set down here. You've got tiered theater style seating all the way around here. You've got it wrapped around the stage. Up top here, you also have these bar top seatings as well, and even a little bit of a dance floor down there in the middle. Now, like with all the restaurants, you're also gonna have the bar. This here is the theater bar. Of course, it's a full service bar for the grownups, and they have some great specialties for the kids as well. But every member of the family is gonna enjoy those shows, whether the little ones starting off with Sesame Street, or as they go further on throughout the day, you know, you can take advantage of those nanny services and enjoy the evening shows as well. Now, as you're waiting for the show, they've got a couple nice little lounge seating areas for you. And of course, games all throughout the resort. Maybe even a little game of ping pong here and there. Let's see. Ah, finally, yes! Now, if ping pong's not your thing while you're waiting for the show or heading into dinner, you can always try a game of pool. That's normal. Set just off the lobby, you're gonna find another nice outdoor lounge area. It gets really beautiful here at night when they have the market lights on. But you've got some high tops, low tops, and then of course couches and seats. This is that perfect place if you just wanna have a meeting spot for everybody, or if you're getting ready to go on your excursion. Now they have their own tour company here. It's the Island Roots Caribbean Adventures. I highly recommend that in addition to enjoying this incredible resort, you get out and see some fantastic things here in Jamaica. Whether you wanna check out some cultural things or you wanna see maybe a little bit more about the history of Jamaica or just go out on a catamaran and have a blast, they can do all of that. Now we're gonna handle all that before you leave. You're gonna to wanna to pre-book it all and of course we take care of all that for you. And that way when you arrive here on the resort, all you gotta do is check in, head on out and have an incredible time without thinking about that. Now our guests tell us all the time how much they love their vacation at Beaches and Sandals and so many of them choose to book their next journey here at the resort. And I highly recommend that because you're gonna get some special discounts that you won't have available to you when you get home. Now the important thing is as soon as you get home, you let us know, we'll take care of all the details from that. So once again, no worries for you, just another fantastic vacation with your family, friends, group or wedding party. Now just behind me, you're gonna find the resort shop at Beaches. So if you wanna have a little retail therapy, maybe you wanna get some clothes, some beach items, things like that, they have those. They also have some great souvenir choices. And of course, they have a full sundry shop in there. Maybe you left something at home or you need an additional item. You can get that in there as well. 
Now the Sesame Street experience extends throughout the entire resort. You might bump into some of your friends. And here's a few examples of the types of things that they do here. Of course, it moves around all the different time. You're, of course, every day going to have the number and letter of the day. One of my favorite ways to start the day as a kid. And why not do it here as well? You can meet some of your favorite friends, Elmo, Grover, and of course, do some art with Julia. But this just gives you an example of the types of things to expect. Every day they're gonna update that for you and keep an eye out. You never know when you're gonna bump into Elmo. Now, just behind me is the Red Lane Spa. You're gonna have all of the different spa treatments that you would expect. And of course, you can have them here or throughout the resort. In addition, you're also gonna have a full service salon and beauty center, especially perfect for those weddings. You're also gonna have a steam room and fitness center. Let me show you what it's all about. Just inside the Red Lane Spa, you're gonna find the reception area. Of course, you can come here to talk about the different treatment options, your concierge or your butler can make those for you as well. But this is simply the check-in spot. And if you wanna take advantage of some of that retail, they do have all of the duty-free retail here. And I've heard, well, some of the prices are a bit better. You decide for yourself, but there's quite a few options to choose from. Of course, they do have a full service salon as well. They could do manicures, pedicures, different kinds of hairstyles, of course, braiding and makeup. This is that perfect place to go, especially if you're doing a destination wedding. In fact, you can even have the whole wedding party in there if you want, getting ready, having some unique and special treatments, and they even take care of the teenagers as well. So as soon as you come through the reception area, you're gonna have a separate men's and women's area. You've got showers and restrooms. You're also gonna have lockers to put your stuff. And then back here, you have a nice little relaxation area and a sauna as well. A nice little touch is they even have an outdoor area where you've got a rainforest shower head and a tub that you can utilize. Just around the corner, you're gonna see the first of the treatment rooms. And then, well, it's a spa. You can have just about any kind of treatment you'd like. Now the unique configuration of this particular spa is that all the treatment rooms are up here on the second level. On both sides of the landing, they have these relaxation areas where you're gonna come and sit. Of course, your therapist is gonna get to know you and your preferences for your massage or treatment. And it's also that place where you sit and relax for just a few minutes, get in that zen, zen mindset so you can really enjoy your treatment. Now we're just inside one of the treatment rooms. This particular one is set up for a double couples treatment. Of course, you can have the single ones as well. You've got a nice soaking jacuzzi tub just behind you and a shower around the corner. They can offer you a wide variety of massages. One of my all time favorites that I had was a hot stone massage, a great way to relax on vacation. You can also utilize spa treatments throughout the resort as well. But the thing that they always tell us and what they told us here as well is make sure that you let them know exactly how you wanna customize it to your own taste and they can do that. Now, one thing that I love about this resort that they offer is they even have spa treatments for the younger ones. So there's a wide variety to choose from. So once again, as we know, if every member of the family has what they want and they're happy, everybody's gonna have a great time. So now we're getting ready to head into the fitness complex. It's kind of set up unique. You've got cardio in one room. On the other side, you're gonna find your weights and aerobics. I love that right here in the middle, they also have a jacuzzi hot tub. But one thing that's really cool about this specific space is that you're gonna have your men's and women's locker rooms over here. So of course you can utilize those with the fitness center. They've got the showers and places to change, but they also have the departure lounge right here. So tucked just in the corner, you've got lockers. So if you have a later flight in the day, you can come on over here, you can put your stuff away, still utilize everything in this awesome resort, the water park, the beach, the restaurants, and then you can come back here and get ready to head home, which is usually the saddest part, but we're pretty sure you're gonna come back. Uh, oh, we're starting. All right, well, this is the aerobics part of the gym. You've got ellipticals in here, and then on the far side, you're gonna have your treadmills and bike. They've got it nice and spread it out. It's air conditioned. This is that great place if you wanna get your heart pumping on vacation. So tucked in the corner, they have towels for you. They've got water bottles as well. And never forget the exercise balls. On the other side of the gym, you're gonna find all of the machines and the different aerobic activities. So you can see here, they have all the different types of circuit machines, your leg press over there in the corner. One of Taylor's favorites, the Roman machine, you got the Smith, and then you also have all of the different pulleys. It's a really comprehensive gym for a resort this size. Over in the corner, you're gonna have the kettlebells, all of the different dumbbells, and then you can see here, you got the steps for the aerobics, and then of course, the medicine balls as well. So Taylor holds the camera all day long, but I've got to get a little exercise from time to time as well. Oh. 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 Seriously, it's not enough? First off, congratulations for making it all the way through and thank you so much. We really appreciate you watching. It's why we get to do what we do. 
Now, when you're ready to book this incredible resort, reach out to Hard Travel. We are your luxury, all-inclusive experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Sandals and Beaches Resorts, and we know that we can craft a vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, your group, family, or wedding party at an incredible value. Now I'm gonna go hang out with Bob.